Well, happy Saturday, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. We're live from One Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem. It's the 20th of July. Hard to believe we're in the dog days of summer here. I thought we'd talk a La Nina quick here. Again, it's developing. Models, a little bit of disagreement. Uh, um, CFS Models 10 is saying a strong La Nina. In fact, it did really well with the three-year La Nina a few years back. So um, not to say this is not out of the question to have a strong event. Uh, other models are indicating a weak event. Uh, so probably somewhere in the middle, moderate uh, event. One thing we have is just off the northeast coast here is a pretty cold water temperatures, uh, 5, 10 degrees cold in last year. We experienced that here at the beach uh, the past couple weeks in New Jersey and Maryland, and uh, we'll talk about that because, uh, again, uh, we took a boat excursion, and they, we saw tons of whales, um, and the uh, experts on the boat were basically saying it was due to this upwelling in cold water. So the most they've seen in years. We'll show a video of the uh, very close encounter of humpbacks that we saw here uh, just a week ago. Looking at drought here, again, totally shifted out of the U.S. Corn Belt, uh, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa. Uh, so last year, 50% of the country was in dry to drought, 50% this year and 49% last year. So very similar, but again, that very dry last year is uh, gone, and it's shifted more to the southeast. Uh, good news is even the southeast, we're going to get some relief here. So um, uh, drought uh, is definitely going to be improving, uh, again, for the southeast that desperately needs some rain. Look at severe weather. We continue this torrid pace here with uh, 42 more tornadoes, 195 hail events, uh, 1,568 wind events. So tornadoes and winds, as expected, uh, and weather trends year ahead outlook, uh, most in 13 years, uh, top 3% of history. Hail's actually down from last year and actually below average. So uh, wind and tornadoes have been the big, huge events here this uh, this year in 2024. Look at last week, world summary here ending tonight here on the 20th of July. Uh, here in the U.S., 0 0.3 warmer than last year, 12th warmest in 39 years, above average national temperatures. But we had a dramatic cooling trend uh, in the central U.S. and across the south. 18% drier than a year ago, still 17th wettest with above average uh, precip. Very hot up there in Canada, number one hottest in years. Uh, so again, uh, very warm west, central, and that's uh, expanding to the east in the next couple weeks. Um, cold down under Australia for their winter, coldest in nine years, fourth coldest in 39 years, and very wet and snowy and even in the spot. So again, uh, cold down under. Look at the 14-day storm track here. We kind of see uh, some shifts in the pattern here maybe. Um, Bermuda High maybe splitting a bit, and that can help uh, alleviate this dust that suppresses tropical activity. Um, again, that... Um, Bermuda High, again, sweeps uh, the dust from um, again, kind of a northeast wind across the Atlantic. Uh, and that suppresses hurricane activity. This may be weakening. It typically does weaken as we get into the mid-August through October time frame. So um, quiet now in the tropics, but uh, don't get lulled to sleep here. We still believe, as do almost everyone, that it's an extremely active season with just conditions very, very favorable for uh, just nonstop, potentially prairie to storm here as we get into the mid-August core season, September, October. Look at this week here, weekending hard to believe. This is the last uh, full week of July or 27 July. Here in the U.S., a colder pattern. Look at all that cold weather from uh, Texas, Central Plains, um, Central U.S., Midwest, even into the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, U.S. overall 1.6, cooler than last year, cools in five years, still 15th warms in 39 years. So heat is pretty much west and uh, northern uh, Rocky Mountains. Total precip, 69% wetter than last year. What is in six years? A second, what is in 39 years? And all that moisture from Texas to the southeast, they will take it. Again, maybe too little, too late for some of the crops, uh, fringe crops down in the southeast. But again, they'll take the rain for sure. Um, maps inset left are the trends versus last year and versus average. We look at next week here, week uh, getting into the third, third of August. Uh, hard to believe. Uh, Officially the dog days of summer for sure. 2.7 Fahrenheit warmer than last year. Number one hottest in 39 years. That heat will expand into the central U.S. So enjoy the cool weather. It won't last. Uh, continued stormy there in the southeast. Again, they'll take the rain. But uh, nationally, we're down 11% drier than last year. Dries in five years. 15th dries in 39 years. So maybe a soft week for seasonal sales this coming week. And then it may pick up again here as we get into early August. Um, for, again, those consumables of bev cold beverages and uh, vegetable categories you use for picnics and um, and uh, consumable like pool pool supplies and pool chemicals. So we just aggregate these World Two Week Outlook here trends through the third third of August again. Uh, expanding heat across Canada and the western and central U.S. Even the Northeast will get hotter. Cool week this week, but uh, much warmer next week. Cool there in Central Europe. Uh, Precip map versus average inset left, and this is just the total rain and snow again. Very snowy up there in Greenland. And uh, again, very wet across the south central southeast. We'll end with uh, the whales that we saw here off the New Jersey coast here this past week. Again, humpbacks uh, is what we tend to have here. And again, the boat operator was uh, 
kind of freaking out because she saw so many. She says, I haven't seen this many in many, many years. So we're going to blame it on the cold weather, uh, cold ocean temperatures, actually, uh, leading to upwelling, which brings nutrients, which brings fish, which brings, you know, plankton and all the things these whales eat. So again, uh, she could actually identify every single whale uh, by their tail fin. Um, pretty impressive. And the, some of them had the barnacles, um, you know, plastered to the back of the tail. So again, show the video here. It was uh, pretty fascinating to see them uh, very, very close within the feet of the boat here. So with that, folks, uh, enjoy the show, and we'll be here this time next week. <laughs>